Hello, beautiful souls. So, only take them as they connect for you personally. The first card to come out here is the world. This card is really a card of deep fulfillment, really finding a sense of wholeness and stability within the self that then begins to reflect in the external world. And I'm getting that for someone who's tuned in here. You've really done the inner work to come into that space of balance within yourself. And this is causing things to open up for you in the physical world. I'm hearing open doors and green lights, metaphorically speaking, are opening up in front of you as you are maintaining this energetic balance within yourself. Now, of course, the key here coming through from your guides is to really focus dominantly on maintaining that energetic balance within yourself, because your energy really is your currency in the world. And as you achieve that state of balance, peace, harmony, abundance within your external world begins to reflect those energies as physical realities. I'm hearing Master Manifester. Whoever I'm tapping into here, you've always, I'm even seeing a child. So possibly, when you were a child or from a young age, you've always had the ability to get what you want in life, to manifest in a really powerful way. Now, for someone I'm tapped into here, you may have always had really vivid dreams, either literal dreams at night or simply dreams in the form of daydreams visions. I'm hearing imagination. People around you, particularly the adults around you when you were a child, may have said that you have a very vivid imagination. For some reason, I'm hearing ADHD, so I don't know if that connects with someone in some way, but I'm hearing that your mind operates on so many cylinders in a way that most people don't understand, and in a way that actually may have been devalued by other people. You may have been led to believe that your ability to, I'm hearing, run so many programs at once in your brain. You may be someone who's always thinking up a bunch of different ideas or mentally multitasking. You may have been taught that this way of visioning was a weakness because it was a distraction. But actually, I'm hearing all along you were quote-unquote distracted by the most important things, meaning that you've always had a deep sense of purpose. And so, whenever you've been involved with things that you feel are not aligned with this higher purpose or things that feel mundane to you, it might be really difficult to actually focus on them because your mind is aligned with a higher vision. So, to other people, you might look like you're distracted, like you just have a very active imagination. But really, this is you sensing into higher realities, meaning higher vibrational reality potentials, timeline potentials that are accessible to you that you are actually channeling energy into with your thought, which is causing these higher timelines to be magnetically pulled to you over the course of time. Type yes if you believe in God. God bless you.